start with Dr. Phil's sit down with Bobby Christina's boyfriend, Nick Gordon, the man some family members believe is responsible for Chrissy being in a coma. I talked to Dr. Phil about his crazy interview with Nick and his mom that turned into an intervention. What happened when Nick hit that room and was he sober? Not at all. My pain is horrible. My, like, my heart hurts. I have panic attacks. I went to Atlanta to interview uh, Nick. When I got there, the interview became an intervention. You've, you've threatened suicide. I will, if any, like, if anything happens to Chrissy, I will. Nick will stop saying that, please. Don't cry. I just want you to listen to Dr. Phil. I will. Okay, 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 I will. I will. <sighs> deep breath. Deep breath. Come here. Sit down. Nick. Before cameras rolled, this was Nick. Oh. Incoherent and unable to walk in footage obtained exclusively by the DailyMail.com. It comes time to do the interview. He's not there. I go knock on his door and he opens the door and freaks, you know, starts yelling, screaming. Yeah. Mom, I lost, I lost the most legendary singer ever, and like, I'm scared to lose Chrissy. Pray for, pray for Chrissy, right? <clears throat> you hyperventilating, just breathe. He would go from being able to talk like we're talking right now, to just all of a sudden collapsing and just wailing. Um, and then he would pull out his phone and he would turn on a Whitney song. And, I... and just start crying. We'll always... And what he's saying is, look, I, I feel a huge amount of guilt here. What I want you to do is... Go to uh, rehab. Yeah. I think you definitely need to go to, I do. A, to a medical I do. supervised rehab. Yeah, I do. And you can't help Bobby Christina the way you are. You can't help Chrissy like this. Right. This is not helping. You're right, me. you're right. You know, my first consideration is I, I don't want him dead. I don't want him overdosed. Uh, I want to save And this that was kid's a real life. concern for you when this you saw him. Oh, very much a concern. And he was high as a kite. He needed to be under control. You got to man up, you got to straighten up. You I've been get so something. strong for so many people for so long. So, do, so please don't do tell me to man up. Uh, yes, I am going to tell you that. No, you're not. I just did. What I want to know and what I went there to find out, was he traumatized or was he the trauma? And at this point, we do have him uh, in rehab. How long he stays, uh, how far into the program he gets, uh, we'll see.